Good morning, folks. We're starting with NASA's Earth Observatory, checking out the path of that Mayflower tornado that tore through the Arkansas town, destroying homes and lives. Satellite image was taken with MODIS. Here we go, France. Here we go. I'll admit to a measure of bias after having researched the GMO issue fully. However, I did come into it with an open mind, for a slice more than speculation, for a potential mechanism for GMOs to hurt our health. See the post on our blog sparked by Merck's poison back at the beginning of 2014. Our eyes turn towards the Indian Ocean, just south of the subcontinent. It's sucking in and holding a massive amount of moisture. With flaring on the rise, the Uyen factors do as well, and we finally got our next system to watch. Very easy day in the southwest Pacific. New Zealand will see one cell lingering over top the area, while Australia has to look off the west coast for their next line coming. Meanwhile, the convergence atop Europe is either not as strong as I thought it would be, or we're just not getting the news reports across the pond. North Atlantic Low tossed a storm line over the west coastlines and should have increased the weather watches wherever it went. Please weather share if you can add to this Euro analysis. The United States is likely to have a calmer day, at least calmer than what's coming. We do see all air shifting towards the Rockies and we'll have some heavier events there today and north into Canada. Storm potential in Texas where the heat heads north. But if you missed our second video yesterday, try to go catch it. We went over that stuck low in the central states that will break east in the next 24 to 48 hours, causing severe warnings to return to the United States. It's going to be rough. We also went over some mid-range forecasting and how the cold that has dominated 2014 so far may give way back to the other climate extreme when El Nino conditions set in three to four months from now. We also answered one of the common questions on climate extremes we get here, how long before we go back and forth ping-ponging until we potentially shift to one extreme or the other. Best guess would be another five or six years. Solar wind, some variability to be sure, but on the whole density is falling along with all geomagnetic disruption. High instability is being replaced with smoother, calmer curves on the sensitive magnetometer and electron flux. As I said earlier, flaring is on the rise. Finally had an M flare this morning with a minor radio blackout over the Middle East and Eastern Africa. Won't make a geo-effective CME as it's on the limb, but we will eye the proton flux to see if our poles get surged via the interplanetary magnetic field. Earth is connected relatively near those departing spots, sharing its portal with Mars there. The umbras are solid, but the lead delta group is indeed crested off the disk now. The top earth-facing group today is up north, but he is of minor concern and just one of a slew of baby groups center disk. The incoming spots do look mean, having gotten to rocking just yet, but biggest one may actually be in the back and they should produce when they face earth. These are some serious spots. We know the earthquake conditions have been rising as the coronal holes swing in to face earth. We continued our uptick yesterday with the six-pointer in Thailand. But something interesting, watch the left side. That northern earth-facing coronal hole lost a bunch of power right after the Thailand quake and didn't get it back until later last night. Let's look to the planets. The lineups start to get fun. Jupiter, heliocentrically opposing Venus. The two straddle Mercury May 8th, and the little bugger conjoins Jupiter May 10th. While Venus and Mars are geocentrically opposed, and Saturn sits in geocentric opposition to the Sun also considered the heliocentric conjunction of Earth and Saturn. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. We've got more sunspots cresting the next two days on the south. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.